intelligence. What is that? Okay, it is this. Partly it's pa oops. Partly it's pattern recognition. And a lot of people go, "What the hell's AI? What the hell does that mean?" Let me explain what it means. Okay, what it means. Let me just get this uh, pen up here. Pattern recognition is basically looking at well patterns and saying, "Well, if this happened before, it might happen again." Let's take it a little bit more sophisticated than that. The areas we're going to look at is neural networks, I'll explain what that means, I know it sounds complicated, pattern recognition, okay? Uh, we're not gonna look at deep learning, um, we're not really gonna look at machine learning either, okay? Now what the hell does any of that mean? This is essentially what it means, and it's something your brain does every day. This is what trading now involves, it's what your brain does, and all that computers are trying to do, are trying to pick out what good quality traders do in their brain, all right? so. I'm gonna teach you what good quality trading is manually in your brain, and then we're gonna see how computers do it. All right, this is what it involves. And by the way, a subset of artificial intelligence is called machine learning, and a subset of machine learning is neural networks. What's a neural network? A neural network is this. We put in some inputs, like, oh, the, um, the trend is high, or I don't know, moving average, or uh, an indicator, or a pattern. We then weigh those. We look to see what's important, what isn't. How important is, the MACD, or how important is a moving average? How important is certain pieces of information? We've got to weigh them, and then we come up with an output. The output might be buy, might be sell, all right? That's essentially it. That's actually how your brain works. Let me put it this way. You come home late from work, your spouse looks at you, and your spouse, let's just use male and female cliches, all right? And she looks at you and she goes, yeah, is he telling the truth he's been at work? And she'll do a neural network and she'll say, ooh, there's lipstick on his collar, smells of aftershave, um, and his shirt's half hanging out of his trousers and his zip's undone. Hmm, let's put some variables on how, what importance we put on these factors. Hmm, yeah, kick him out the house. It's an extreme example, a bit funny, but that's actually what it is. That's how our brains work, and that's all we're doing in trading. So we need to work out, well, what inputs should we put into this when we're trading, and then how can we use the computers to make it easier for us to do, okay? Because the brains are easily fooled and that's a lot of hard work. I'll give you another quick example of how neural networks work and this is how I want you to be trading in the future and how we're gonna trade in 2019 and how we're gonna make profits, okay? Age, you might put inputs like your age, your income level, your education, your gender. We then weigh those factors, all right? Boom, boom, boom. And we say, oh, based on those factors and those weights, you're more likely to be a Republican or a Tory, uh, uh, not a socialist, for instance. Okay, that's all it is. And that's the same thing with all of this pattern recognition and neural networks that we're doing in this. What we're doing is, so I'll tell you what the inputs are, don't worry, and how we weigh them. Now, the way I weigh it, the way you weigh it, Different people weigh it differently, but they can all come to the same conclusion. Let's say you come home late, you've got the lipstick, you've got the thingy, and not only have you got your wife there, but you've got your mother-in-law. Okay, they might put different weightings on things. Your wife might forgive you, your mother-in-law won't. But the point is, you might still get to the same kind of similar outcomes just because the weighings are different. So it, there isn't one holy grail with any of this is what I'm saying. And sometimes you might miss a great trade, and that's fine, okay? For instance, oh, by the way, we're short sterling US dollar in case you're asking. Some of you are. This is the one hour bar. Okay, this is what's happened uh, over the last, whatever, 24 hours with us. We had the great upward trade there. Uh, 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 and then we've had the falling off a cliff. Now there's a whole lot of news going on. Notice how I've not talked about looking at the news. We can't look at the news. We look at the trends. We look follow into those. Uh, and we had some inputs which generated that and told us what to do. Well, what were those inputs? Those inputs changed over time. 20 years ago, it would have been moving averages. Then it was indicated. So I'm going to tell you what those inputs are so you can bring your trading up to speed and and, and know what the latest tick, uh, tricks and techniques are. The great news is, guess what, all this data is live real time and free, so at least that part's free, and then I'm gonna teach you manually all the rules that you should be using so we know what to put in. In actual fact, you know what, uh, 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 these neural networks, they're a bit more complicated than I'm making sound. Uh, uh, this is actually what happens with computers, and that's why people tend to use computers. But that doesn't really matter at the moment. We're gonna just use simplicity to get to this decision-making. By the way, if you really wanna know about this, there's a great book, it's not one of mine, Advanced Financial Machine Learning, if you really wanna know about this area and what's happening, okay? One of the th 